Hey everybody, this is Rebecca Tatila with the Roma Hut Institute and today I want to try to teach you guys about how to make aroma inhalers. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I found this wonderful kit um, that's been put out by DIY Essential Oil Products. Yeah, or projects I should say. And they have these kits that are put together so you can do your own make and take classes. Um, but I love them because it just makes everything so easy. All you have to do is get your product and your essential oils and that's all you need. So I'm going to put that away for a second. Now with an inhaler, these are, you know, you can probably find these on Amazon. I will share the link below. But basically you have about three or four pieces to it. So you have your, your cover your inhaler, the wick, and then the end butt that you would insert in the bottom. What's great about inhalers is you do not need a carrier oil. All you need is your essential oils. And I love that they're easy to carry with you. They're light. They've already got the blend mixed up. All you do is put it in your purse or your pocket and you can take it with you. Now, this is great for school kids who want to have their essential oil blend with them to help them if they're, you know, maybe have a head cold or need something for focus and clarity. Um, this is wonderful because then it doesn't spread all over the room and affect other people. So it's a personal inhaler. So it only the, they're the ones who are going to be inhaling it and smelling the scent. Another great thing is that this makes it so much easier when you're traveling because you don't have to take all of your bottles with you. You can actually just take a few of these and have them on hand ready to use at any time. So this particular product that I got actually came with the invitation so you can send them out for parties. Um, I love these slick, nice, glossy labels that it came with so I get to use these. And then it has an, a little handout sheet that you can give to your guests if you're using it in a group. Um, this particular one is 10 full sets with 12 recipe labels. So that's 120 products that you can make. So you could actually make these for your friends, family, share them at, get, as gifts or um, maybe at a wedding shower or baby shower or something like that. By the way, this is no uh, promo. I don't get paid to tell you about these products. I just thought it's a great way for me to share with you how to make the inhalers. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pick a recipe from each category. And this one is body, mind, and soul. And it says just breathe in because that's how easy it is. I mean, you just have to breathe them in. You don't have to do anything. Um, you know, you can use it as needed anytime. I would have loved to have had these when I was traveling abroad because you know how you're in an air, uh, like a airplane and the air gets very dry and you need to keep you know inhaling something throughout the trip because of how it dries you out so i'm going to make the first one it's called clear airways now they suggest that you go ahead and add your label first before you get your essential oils out because of the you know losing that sticky part on the back of it so i'm just going to roll it right on the cover here and it has the ingredients listed. So anyone who uses it will know immediately, you know, they can read about it and see what's in the contents of this. For inhalers, I would suggest you use maybe 15 to 18 drops and we're going to be applying it to the wick. So that means it's gonna directly go here on this wick. But first we wanna add them here. So let's look at this recipe, it calls for five drops of eucalyptus, let's see, which I, I know if you've never smelled it, it's pretty powerful. So we're just gonna go ahead and just add it to our glass bowl. Wow, it smells so good. And then it add four drops of lemon. Now you can use any of your favorite essentials, but I have found I'm using uh, doTERRA right now. One, two, three, four, because they are pure. And then it says to add four drops of peppermint. Two, three, four. And it's okay if you make a mistake and add more. It's not a problem. And rosemary, we're gonna add two drops. 
If you've ever smelled rosemary, you know it's pretty powerful and it can be very overwhelming. So what I'm gonna do is use my tweezers. I'm gonna just drop my wick in here and I'm just gonna soak up those oils into the wick. Now I have had my inhalers last up to a year or more. In fact, I think I found an old one in my purse one day and I opened it up and it still had a nice strong scent to it. You don't want to store them in a hot car or anything like that, but yeah, if you keep them sealed, they'll last a long time. So what we're going to do is take the body of the inhaler and just drop this right in. And then we're just going to put our little cap on the end. And then you can just put your top back on it and store it like this. There we go. All right, so to use it, it's very simple. You're simply gonna close one nostril, inhale deeply. This one is to clear the passageways, help with the respiratory, and, and just store it and use it as needed. Isn't that easy? Let's go ahead and make a couple of more because I love these. And they're so, so simple. This one is called Keep Calm. Now, Mama needs this one really bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and get another one out. If you look on Amazon, you'll probably find that there are other types of inhalers that you can get. For instance, you can get the real pretty shiny ones. They're about the size of a lipstick, uh, lipstick tube. So this one, actually, you would need a dropper to add the oils into the little holes here. Um, this one, let me see if it does. Oh yeah, it does open up. Okay, good. So you actually have a glass canister in here and I could actually add the oils into here. Now that holds quite a bit. You do not want to put that much in there though because you know what's going to end up? It ends up pouring out. I, in fact, one time had one on an airplane and uh, <laughs> I overfilled it, not realizing. And I got in the airplane, opened it up and it was spilling into my purse and everyone in the airplane started going, what's that smell? What's that smell, you know? So um, I was just, sort of ducking low because I didn't want anybody to know it was me. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and make our Keep Calm. Now this one calls for, let's go move these aside. This one calls for a clary sage. Now actually, you know what, instead of using the same bowl, because I do have a little bit of that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and get a new clean bowl. Let's go with three drops of clary sage. Ah, I love clary sage, it's one of my favorite. One, two, three. Actually, that was four, wasn't it? And we need five drops of lavender. One, two, three, four, five. Again, it's okay if you add a couple more. This one actually has marjoram in it, so four drops of marjoram. Marjoram is great, helps lower blood pressure. One, two, three, four. And Lang Lang. So you know what? All of these oils are hypotensive, so you can actually use these to help lower your blood pressure. And let's go ahead and do three drops. And Lang Lang is pretty strong, so that's the base note, and it's pretty powerful oil. So again, you might want to get a little stir rod to stir this up, or just blend it around. We're gonna get our wick and soak those oils up again. And it hardly looks like any oil here, but I'm sure that scent will be enough to smell it. And then, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna just plop this right in here. Oops, this one is supposed to help with anxiety and keeping you calm. Maybe if you have anxiousness, or insomnia or anything like that. Okay, and you know what? Forgot to put the label on, didn't I? Okay, let's get our label out. So we remember what it is. Sometimes you get lazy and don't want to do labels, but then you forget what it is. Okay. All right. So we just want to get that on there so it'll lay flat. Love, love these labels. Makes it so much easier. And then just smell. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Wow, that's wonderful. Okay, so we've got one more 
blend that I want to try. This one is for the soul and it's called Be Brave. So now this one actually calls for bergamot, which is a citrus fruit, and clary sage, another time we're gonna use that one, which is that herb, and frankincense. It's a favorite of everybody's. And then four drops of geranium. Okay, so let me get another bowl. And I'm gonna take another inhaler out. So you can really see just so simple how to use these and place these there. Now I'm gonna do my label first. With the bergamot, that's one of my favorites. So we're gonna just take this apart and put this over here. So let's go ahead and put our three drops of bergamot and four drops of clary sage, four drops of frankincense, and four drops of geranium. Now geranium is very powerful, so we're gonna see how this turns out. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't add to us quite that much, but we'll see how this works. Geranium is so strong, it's so overwhelming. Um, it really can overpower any kind of blend. So let's just see how this works. And geranium is of course one of those flowers that you either love or hate it. It's, it's very good oil, but it is very strong. So it can really be overwhelming. And you can see this one really had a lot of oil on there and you can see the bergamot. So we drop that in and put our little cap on. We like to make these in our Roma Hut um, certification class level two. We make the inhalers because we talk about the respiratory system. Okay, that's nice. It's very, very, actually very um, soothing. Very, very, very soft. It's not overwhelming at all. I'm surprised that this is very nice. So it's called Be Brave. So I guess if you were maybe feeling a little bit of fright or fear, this would be a great one to have with you as well. So those are three inhalers that you can make. They're great to use for children because there's no spilling uh, drops, there's no handling of the oils, they don't need to touch them because the case is secure and it's tight and they're not able to get into it and then they just inhale and take it away if it's overwhelming they're you know and they feel like it's too much just pull it away from their face and use only when you need to so these kits are pretty great um i think that the labels are wonderful and they're easy to make and easy to do of course you don't need the kit you can go home and make your own using any of your favorite oils and create your own blends we hope that uh that helps you and answers your questions. If you'd like to learn more about aromatherapy, visit our website at aromahut.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can watch more informative videos like this. Let us know how you like this and leave a comment below. Thanks.